Yeah, but I'm already in, that's what I was saying. I'm in. But let me give you let me give you the meeting code. Yeah, five three oh. And the and the passcode, you got that one? Yeah, that's it. What I need. In the uh, no, not yet. Okay, then he said uh, he's got he's on administrative, so he got the same thing I got. Okay. Praise the Lord, saints. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We thank you for your grace, your mercy, and your kindness. Uh, we thank you for, we had a little complication this morning, but I think we got everything worked out. Um, so everything is worked out. So everything should be good. They sent a new code out so they can be on we thank God for his grace. A little technical, but I think we got it squared away. And we thank God for those uh, have an opportunity to come in with our service. So Dr. Dwight Fowler sent you uh, the correct code out. Hopefully you got it. And um, we just give God honor and praise for his goodness because truly he has been good to us as a people. So we had a lot of time to caliber. We're getting it together this morning and we're alive and well. Thank God for his grace. And we just want to invite those who will and can we have a little problem, but we're going to get on, get on in a minute. We're hoping that you'll get your emails and we go forward in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. The invitations are going out. For those who want to join, and shortly you should be on. So we're going to start off. What we're waiting for scripture this morning psalms 19 psalms 19 psalms 19 what we're waiting psalm 19 Psalm 19, we're waiting to. In Psalm 19, the heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmaments show his hand works. Day unto day unto utterance speech, and night unto show of knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voices is not heard. 
the, the line the line is going out through all the earth and the words to the end of the world in him as he set the tabernacle of the sun which is as the bride coming out of his chamber and rejoice as a strong man to run a race it's going forth is from the end of the heaven and his circle unto the end of it and there is nothing here from the heat thereof. the law of the law is perfect converting the soul and the testimony of the lord is sure making wise the simple the statue of the lord are right rejoicing the heart the commandments of the lord is pure and lighten the eyes the fear of the lord is clean enduring forever the judgment of the lord are true and righteous all together Moreover, by him is thy servant born, and his, and in keeping of them that is great reward. Who can understand his error? Clean thou me from the secret fault. Keep back thy servant also from some perceived sin. Let them not have dominion over me. I shall upright. I be upright, and shall be innocent for the great transgression. Let the words of the of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. We are just reading portions of Psalms nineteen. We thank God for the saints. Uh, we finally getting on with the saints. We thank God for that. Having a few little technical difficulties, but we have gotten uh, all that squared away. We thank God for you and you. Uh, in these unprecedented times, uh, we have to change and have different things that uh, sometimes technology will change. Sometimes technology doesn't work as well, but we thank God for the ones all uh, coming in and we thank God for you, you, and you.
What is that? Stepper Graves is the host now. Who? That is Stepper Graves is the host now. She went out. You sure you and me? Mm-hmm. All right, big hands for turn us off and meet the mic. And thank you for working through a couple of technical difficulties. Just bear with us. Bear with us. Hello. Okay, Sister Deborah. Okay. Praise Lord Saints. We had to work through some technicalities, but we got it done. And we want to, I had read scripture, uh, chapter 19. Uh, starting off this morning, we give God honor and praise to the glory of God. And we just thank God for his mercies. And right now we're going to get ready to get started. And we would like someone to uh, start off with a conversational song. So if you want to sing, just unmute yourself. Just unmute yourself and we're going to have a conversational song. Just unmute yourself and we're going to have a conversational song. Just unmute. <laughs> I'm so glad Jesus lifted me and can glory, hallelujah, he lifted me. You know Satan had me bound, Jesus lifted me, Satan had me bound, Jesus lifted me, Satan had me bound. Jesus with me, singing glory, hallelujah, he lived in me. You know I'm so glad Jesus lived in me. I'm so glad oh, Jesus lived in me. I'm so glad Jesus lived in me, singing glory, hallelujah, he lived in me. Amen. So you have to unmute when you're singing because we can't hear you. But it's time we're going to go into prayer. And we're going to uh, get Ella Simpson. I don't know if Ella Simpson's on or not. I don't think he's on yet, Bishop. Okay. Well, we're going to go ahead and uh, get um, Sister Lisa Lindsay to have prayer and get Dick and Charlie scripture at this time. The scripture will be there from Psalms, the first Psalms. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scoffer. For his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth in his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregations of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. I read Psalms, the first verse. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Amen.
So, so, so Lisa, you got to pray. I mean, you got to uh, read scripture because so they can try and got your part. Wait, here. You got to unmute. Mm -mm. Go ahead. You got Let's it. all pray. God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for bringing us all together on one accord. God, we ask you to give us a delightful service. God, give us what we need for this day and time. God, we ask you to encourage the hearts that are down. God, we ask you to uplift those souls. God, we ask you to strengthen and heal all those who are suffering from illnesses. And we ask you to do it all in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. At this time, we're going to uh, get ready to go into a short space of testimony. Um, magnificent things uh, this has been an extraordinary week it, things that i've been working on for over 50 years came to fruition on yesterday god is a merciful god he is so good remember i told you something big gonna happen saints something big happened this week for me and the best part not only the natural thing but the spiritual things uh Yesterday was one of my best days spiritually. And guess what I was doing? Working at church. God met me there in a special way. And I just felt the anointing and the presence of God in that holy place. And y'all continue to pray for me if I pray for you and anyone else that might have a testimony at this time. If you got a testimony, unmute yourself and testify. Unmute yourself and testify if you have a testimony. Amen. Give it on to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I pass to Bishop Fowler, First Lady Fowler, Mother Grace, my husband, Deacon Turner, and all the saints of our Most High God. Truly, I do thank and praise God for another day that the Lord has kept me. I praise him yet and still for still having the Holy Ghost abiding in my soul, in my life. Truly, I thank and praise God uh, just for his direction. I praise him <laughs> just for his revealing power. You know, I thank and praise God. We was on our way home um, on Friday evening, and it just fell in my spirit. I said, Look, uh, I just got a spirit that I need to give the Lord a praise, just a, a, a just a victory praise. And so I just thank and praise God because when I got home, you know, after we got, we was in the car when that, that spirit came over me. So when we got home, I got in the house and I told my husband, I said, you know what? I said, I just, the Lord has just given me this unction just to give him a praise. And so me and him both just gave the Lord a, a dance right here in our living room. And I just thank and praise God just for his revealing spirit, for him being such a good, kind, and merciful father unto us. Asking all those that know the word of prayer, continue to pray much for us, that we continue to hold on until the end to see what the end is going to be. Pray our strength in Jesus' name. Amen. Anyone else at this time, unmute yourself and testify. Praise the Lord, everybody. Uh, giving honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I thank God for another day that he's allowed uh, me to be on this earth. I thank God for allowing uh, me to be a part of another service. Um, I thank God for allowing us to get beyond the technical difficulties. Amen. We praise God for uh, just allowing us all to be together, even if in the virtual world. I thank God, most importantly, for just salvation in a day and time like today. I thank God for my wife, for my children. Uh, I thank God for each one of you. Uh, I thank God for how he touched me and how I could see the hand of God work in my life on this week, earlier this week, uh, when just out, of the, just out of the blue, I had a, a, a very, uh, what I thought uh, was a medical emergency. Uh, but God turned it around. God touched my body. And I praise God for his goodness uh, in the land of the living. I ask that you all continue to pray much for us in Jesus' name that we will be what God would have us to be in these last and evil days. Amen. Amen. Yes, he is. I said God is a good God. Yes, he is. I said God is a good God. Yes, he is. I said God is a good God. Oh, yes, he is. He's a mighty, mighty good God. Yes, he is. He's a mighty, mighty good God. Oh, yes, he is. I said God is a good God. Yes, he is. I said God. Oh, yes, oh, he is. yes, he is. 
Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I say, God is a good God. Yes, he is. I say, God is a good God. Yes, he is. Praise the Lord, saints. I give all the Lord. Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Pastor Father, Sister Sherry, all the other ministers. That song is my testimony. God is a good God. And it follows it up by affirming it by saying, yes, he is. So if you didn't know he was a good God, did you follow it up and say, I'm a testimony. Yes, he is. As um, Elder Miller testified, we had a, a scare with him this week. I was, um, I didn't know um, I was going to have to call 911, but we prayed. My son and I prayed around him. I've never seen him like that before, but the Lord brought him back to us. And I thank and praise the Lord for that. Even my son turning 18 on Thursday, I don't take that for granted because if I think about in the Miller family, my nephew died when he was 16 years old. And I just thank and praise the Lord that my son was able to live until 18. And I was thinking about it. And I said, you know, with the Miller name, he's going to be the one that carries on Carl Miller's name. And I thank and praise the Lord every day that he's alive, every time that he celebrates a birthday. I just thank and praise the Lord. Pastor Fowler was talking about miracle signs and wonders. A lot of times people think of that as money. That's right. I didn't get a check in the mail this week. I got paid Amen. on Friday, but that's about it. I know I get paid every two weeks. But I thank and praise the miracle that he wrought in my husband this week, touching his body. I thank and praise the Lord for allowing my son to turn 18 years old. And I thank and praise him for just doing the miracles in our body, in our lives, the things that we don't see. I thank and praise the Lord for that. And I'm asking that you would touch our family. I'm going to pray for our family that the Lord will continue to bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Anyone else? We have one hour, so we have to use this time wisely. So if you got testimony, go ahead and testify. We have used 34 minutes and 16 seconds. So we got less than 30 minutes on here. So anybody else? I see Ella Simpson made it on. So if he, he one thing you want to say at this time before we move on. Unmute yourself. You're muted. Unmute yourself. Praise, Praise Lord, everybody. Praise Lord. Certainly we honor the Lord our Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, all of his many, many blessings that he continues to bestow upon us. I'm sure we all can witness to the fact that God is a good God, that he is a great God. And just to be able to come together in this format testifies of how great God is. Amen. He has given us this tool that even when we got inclement weather, we can still come together and praise his mighty name. I just thank God for all of his blessings that he continues to bestow upon me and my family. I praise God for my wife at all times who continues to stand by me and hold me up. I thank God for my family and just all of the blessings that he bestows upon us. I'm always reminded and is cognizant of the fact that I don't deserve it. Scripture said that the Lord should have mocked iniquity who would be able to stand. Certainly, I just thank God, man, for just holding me up and keeping me because it's by the grace of God that I am here today. Thank God for all of the saints and to keep my family in prayer 
as well as our nation and all the people that are suffering, you know, whether it be from the virus. I mean, it's just amazing to see, you know, all of the death that's around us. And I'm not just talking about famous people, but I'm an avid reader of the newspaper. And when you look at the obituary column, it's very evident that death is all around us. Most of the funeral homes have all kinds of services. I mean, it's touching us, you know, coworkers, family, friends, but I just thank God that he's keeping me and my family. Thank God for our pastor, Bishop Fowler at all times. Continue to pray that God would continue to bless you, Bishop and Amen. First Lady, you know, as y'all lead us during these difficult times. For all of the saints of God at Smyrna, I praise God for the saints at all times. I mean, I know when I was going through working during the Christmas season, I could feel the prayer of the saints I also thank God for New Patriots Christian Congregation up in Massachusetts, whom, you know, I was able to uh, fellowship with them, you know, via teleconference, you know, in my truck, on my headset. But um, just have, just saying all of that, I just thank God for all of his blessings and I just thank you continue to keep me and my family in prayer. God bless Amen. You. Anybody else before we move on? Um, we are on live on Facebook as well as Zoom at the at present time. So we, you, you, you're on Facebook and Zoom, so which is a good thing. Uh, the word is still getting out, and that's what we want. We see Latasha Slade, Latanya Slade is on. And good. Oh, she's a faithful, faithful listener on our services. Even she might not be at church, she's on. She is listening. She's on, and she's making different statements and comments, and we praise God for her, for her family, and we're also praying that Sister Cameron, God, uh, God work a special miracle for her and her family, and we just thank God for all the saints, because without you, it wouldn't be no Samaritan Church. It would not be a Samaritan Church without you. You make up Samaritan Church, and thank God for you. Uh, thank God for the ones that have gone on, but we thank God for the living, because without the living, we didn't shut the door, but we thank God for all those in particular, the ones that are in working for the kingdom of God. Just keep on working. You have anything you want to say? Praise the Lord to everybody. So good to see you out of this beautiful Sunday morning. Thank God for his goodness. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Thank God for the baptism in Jesus' name to say that God is so faithful to his word. I thank him for the testimony that God will bring you out all right. I thank him for, you know, the test and trial that we went through with um, Bishop Fowler, how the Lord, you know, did what he was going to do. And at times, you know, we think that we're okay, but when the test and trial come, you see exactly where you stand. But I thank God, you know, when Jesus was on the cross and he wasn't, he was saying, Father, let this cup pass from me. You know, he was just going through a thing. So when Bishop Fowler got sick, I was just going through. You know, my flesh was one with the spirit. I was just saying it one minute, Lord, let your will be done. Next minute, I said, Lord, please don't take him. I was just going through. And I thank God, you know, for the saints, for the prayers, for all the food that was left at our doorstep. You know, people from far and near. You know, and I just thank God for his faithfulness. I just um, cannot thank him enough. I love him so much and all that he has done and for the saints of Smyrna for your faithfulness. I was looking at Sister Deborah, Sister Gillis, Sister Patricia yesterday, how they were so faithful to come to the church, you know, and still clean in the midst of all that's going on. So we thank everybody for all your input that you have at the church. We love you and God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, saints, we, we have uh, about 15, well, a little over 15 minutes, 16, 17 minutes, I guess. And we just thank God for what you're doing. It's, it's, it's impossible to please God without his love. We can say we're pleasing God, but we have to love him. We have to really love the Lord to please him. He wants us to love one another. Amen. 
And it's amazing how um, love is shown, but love should be shown more times than just in your sickness. Love should be shown with you as well, when you're healthy and whole. But love one of those things. Don't wait till somebody almost die to show your love. Show love every day. Let your wife, your family know you love them. Amen? Your family is all you got. It's precious. But ministry is a warfare. And when you when you operate in the spirit realm, you're going to be attacked by the enemy. And if you have been attacked by the enemy, you will. It's just one of those things that goes along with the territory. If you're in battle, somebody going to die. And, and spiritually, uh, people die spiritually. They don't die physically, but they die spiritually and leave God. But we want to live, right, Saint? And show the praises of God. And we uh, and it's, we only, I tried to change it to an hour and 30 minutes, but it, uh, it wouldn't let me. But because um, I know we, the hour is very short by the time people have something to say, because we can't be together, but we can, we, have, we can stretch the time out as much as we want. Uh, we can have a hundred people on at a time, so uh, different people were invited, but some kind of way we got a little confused on the the in the invitation thing. It went haywire, so a lot of people in Michigan want to get on, but they will have an opportunity. Um, we we talking for a few minutes from Psalms 20, a prayer for the king, and this was done by chief musician of of Psalm of David, uh, beginning with uh, verse one, Psalms 20, the wife read. The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble, the name of the God of Jacob defend thee, send thee help from this sanctuary and strengthen thee out of Zion. Oh, that is a powerful scripture. You notice he said, strengthen him out of Zion. Zion was a place that Israel looked for uh, for their help and for their deliverance. Even when they got in trouble, they would go to the house of God and they would hold on to the horns of the altar. And when they went to, to and, and they could be a murderer or whatever, if they got to the house of God, if they could get to the temple, they could find mercy. And I remember one time, uh, David and went in, men went in and took them in out of of the temple and killed him. But the temple is a place of safety. It was a place of mercy. It was a place where you can go and find mercy. And I, I think about the house of God. The house of God is a place for us to find mercy. Where else can we find mercy at? Your friend could be your friend today and your enemies tomorrow. Jesus experienced that. Hosanna one day, crucify him the next day. And just as human nature, but thank be to God that we got a place to go to called the church where we can find help in the time of trouble. And saints, if you live long enough, you're going to find out how really good God is. When you got your health and strength, you know, we go along our day and we do our occupational things and we do our other things. But when it really hit home, when you start and get to place that you'll be taken away in a, in a emergency unit squad and you go into a place put oxygen on. you don't know what god's going to do before you leave here but praise be to god even in my sickness i didn't realize i was sick because god is so good i didn't know i was sick and all the time that i was sick uh, i had no doubt that god was not real and i was at peace you know and 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 that's where you have to be saying god will give peace in the midst of a storm physical storm mental storm uh, struggles, whatever you're going through with, God will give you peace in the midst of your storm. Remember that, saints, is nowhere you can hide from the presence of God. He's there in your wellness and your sickness and your, your sorrow and your grief. God is there. He's an ever present God. Read on. Remember all thy offerings and accept thy burnt sacrifice. He said, Remember all thy offerings and your burnt sacrifice, all the things you do. All your offer, you're not talking about money, he's talking about your time, your talent, uh, what you give him from within. See, money and stuff don't please God. God wants you, He don't want your money. We know we have to have our money to pay our bills and do things, but God wants you. And a lot of people think they can throw money at God and God is satisfied. 
uh, philanthropists and all that stuff. That don't save you. What saves you is giving your body, your soul, your spirit to him for the service of God. We are God's ministering spirits. And God wants to minister to other souls, our family members, our neighbors, whoever. We show that love in our communities, our churches, wherever we go. Uh, you, you are sowing into the kingdom of God. If you, every soul comes in, it, it, it's, it's like a down payment. Uh, we're going to have crowns in heaven. We're going to have rewards in heaven. And everyone that comes in the name of the Lord through your ministry, that's a crown. Read on. Grant thee according to thine own heart and fulfill all thy counsel. We will rejoice in thy salvation and in the name of our God. We will set up our banner. We will rejoice in the name of the Lord. We, we shall rejoice in the name of the Lord. We will, our banner is our faith. People see your faith, and that's what God is looking for. He wants to see how strong your faith is. And, and you can set that banner of faith when you live according to God's word, when you have been faithful, and people can see your faithfulness. You, they can see what you have done in the kingdom. And I thank God for every saint has poured out their soul, their spirit, their minds to the will of God and to make God kingdom fuller. Our job is to bring people to the house of God, witness to them, tell them about God's goodness. Come on, invite them. And, and our children and our grandchildren, we have to maintain that relationship and inviting folks and baptize them in water in Jesus' name. Read on. Now know that I, the Lord, save his anointed. Save his anointed. He will heal from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. He will save that right hand, talking about his strength, his, his, his anointed. Praise be the name of the Lord. We thank God for his amazing grace, his strength, his strong arm. He's our defender. He's our protector. That strong arm of righteousness. And he will be there for you. Uh, uh, Sister Miller was talking about her husband this week. God's strong hand was in the midst. He, he, he was there all the time. He was the one answering prayer. We can pray, but God has to answer, right, saints? And when he answers prayers, things changes. See, the enemy will fight you when you want to do uh, work, kingdom work. As long as you're playing around in church and just doing what you can do, uh, has happened and not having an interest, but when you really put your heart, your soul in the ministry, the enemy will attack. But he can't succeed. He cannot win. Our great commander is Jesus Christ, our Lord. He's everything to us. Even in our moment of not knowing what's going to happen, not understanding what's happening, he's there all the time. Read on. Some trust in chariots. Some trust in chariots. Some, some in horses. Some in horses. But we will remember. But we, 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 we will remember the name of the Lord. The name God. of the Lord. See, people trust in cars and money and houses and stock markets, retirement. Uh, I'm saving up for a rainy day. I'm, I'm, when I get 65, I'm going to retire. So many millions of folks died before they retired. My daddy never lived to see retirement. He worked all his life and he died before he drove one penny. He didn't draw a dime. So when you're putting up a rainy day, your rainy day should be every day. They don't say you're supposed to not put up something for uh, uh, savings or uh, inheritance, but it doesn't mean you put all your interest in trying to make money because you might not live to see to spend that money. So we have to be very careful how we put our trust in these things down here. It's all right to have 401ks, it's all right to have retirement, but don't you work yourself to death trying to get to that. Because my family, my uncles worked three and four jobs all their life, we were working people, they worked. And don't you know my uncle was a multimillionaire, but he, he didn't even know who I was. He worked all them years, never took sick days, over 40 years. Money saved up, and he was, and before he died, he had Alzheimer's. Couldn't drive his trucks, couldn't drive his car. He had cars that he wouldn't drive on none but Sundays. All that stuff don't mean nothing when you lose your thought, your mind. So watch where you put your treasures at, saying, think about it. Bishop Grace told me a long time ago, he said, son, you're working too much. I'll leave out on Sundays and fly out somewhere and do this, that work. I said, Bishop, I got to work, I got to do this. 
But all that I was building up, and, and at the end, I ended up having to spend it because of other things. So we can build all those things up, but it's a sad thing to work all your life, die young, or don't have a mental attitude, or your bodies have broken down so bad you can enjoy what you have done. I want to live every day as unto the Lord. Amen? Every day is unto the Lord. Not just retirement time. Every day is precious inside of God. Read on. They are brought down and fallen, but we are risen and stand upright. Enemies. Say it again. They are brought down and fallen. Brought down. All the wealth, all the money, all the things, and they're fallen. Look what's happening today. Look what's happening to our former president. Look, just read the newspaper. Look, look what's going on. All the things that he accomplished and that he's been challenged about his legacy in the Senate because we're getting a trial. All these things began to happen. So we don't know what, how we're going to end. The, what, the greatest man on the earth is the president, supposedly. But look what I'm saying. We don't know how our legacy is going to end. Great men are fallen. Great men have failed. Let's don't be a failure. Let's live our life according to the word of God that we may live a legacy. Well, you know what? That brother live and that sister live holy. They live a holy and a righteous life. That's more than anything money you can. They died and, and not, they are great saints. I know they're in heaven. But some folks die, you don't know where they went. We can say they went to hell, heaven or hell. We don't know. We don't have to judge. But we do know if you live holy and righteous, we go on to a better place. Amen? Read on. So we are risen and stand upright. Save, Lord, let the king hear us when we call. Read on. The king shall joy in thy strength, O Lord, and in thy salvation. How greatly shall he rejoice. Thou hast given him his heart's desire. And is not withholding the request of his lips. See, oh, God has given you everything you ask for, saints. Sister Miller was talking about living family, living long jeopardy. See, every one of us live on our own merits. My daddy died at 53, 54 years old. And I always thought I'd be dead by the time I was 53 or 54. Now I'm 70, almost 74, 20 years beyond what he lived. Don't ever whatever your parents went through that don't mean you're gonna go through the same thing so don't get that in your head that you're gonna be like your daddy or you're gonna be like your mother leave early god has to say so you live as long as god wants you to live if you work for the lord don't worry about it you're gonna be here god's not finished with you yet. i think about this young man i always said he said uh, his father was a drunk he was an abuser of his family and the, the boy used to see his father stumbling, drunk, drunk, falling down. He said, I want to be just like my daddy. I want to be just like my daddy. And when he grew up, he became a drunk, a beater of his family, wouldn't take care of his family. He was just like his father. But you and I, we want to be like our whole heavenly father. We want to imitate and look like him, act like him, because he's a good God. So when you sow bad seeds, Somebody will pick up those bad seeds. And we thank God we picked up the good seed and the righteous seed. We have about five minutes left on this program. And at this time, um, we want to uh, uh, let Ella Simpson mute herself and say a few closing words before we get to leave. You have anything you want to say? You got to unmute. Hold on, hold on, Elder. I'll unmute you. I'll unmute you. Hold on. There All right, there we go. He's on I think mute. Uh, I'm okay. I'm catching up with y'all technological folks there. But uh, me and Shirley sitting here listening to the word coming from Bishop Fowler. Psalm 20, and what really struck me is how the psalmist said that some trust in horses and some trust in chariots. Amen. You know, and I think that's a 
problem in the day and time that we live in now. As, as Pastor said so eloquently that everybody is really trusting in these things in this world. But that totally goes against scripture. You know, we are not to lay up treasure on this earth, but we're supposed to store it up in heaven Amen. where God protects it. Amen. There's so many people down here. You hear folks say, well, if I won that $1 billion lottery, I'd do this, I'd do that. Well, I'll tell you, money can't bring you happiness. No. Happiness comes from the Lord. Peace comes from the Lord. Protection, that comes from God. And those things are priceless. So we just thank God for the word. I mean, I'm, I'm just really kind of tickled pink, you know, to even be in this format. It's just kind of funny, even though I've done it before with my doctor, uh, whatever, but just to be at the thanks of God, I just thank God for it. And thank you, Bishop, for giving me uh, space there to have some words. Amen. Dr. Miller, you have anything you want to say? I'm just grateful to God for the uh, for the service today, for the word that came forth. Thank God for Elder Simpson's words as well. And um, I'm thankful for the saints and, and, and you all's perseverance. I'm thankful that, um, you know, I've always said this, that we will always find a way to do the things that we want to Amen. do. And so some people will use the, the, you know, the weather outside, uh, technical difficulties, et cetera, et cetera, not to, to, to join into service today, not to be a part uh, to, to detach themselves from, from the Lord. Uh, but yet if the boss man called them tomorrow, they'd be in there to work at job on time, uh, ready to roll. Yeah. Um, the reality of all of this, everybody is, it, it becomes even more clear to me is that we're not doing this as unto man. We do this as unto the Lord. Everything we do Amen. is as unto the Lord. And so I encourage the saints to continue, uh, to be vigilant, uh, in your walk with Christ, continue to, to, to chase after him, uh, continue to make your calling and election sure in these last and evil days, because Jesus is on his way back and he's coming back for us. Amen. Uh, thank you, Bishop, for uh, allowing me to have a few words. Okay, we're going to leave it a few minutes, but Sister Shamika Dickinson, uh, God didn't get you this year. I want you to say something what God has brought for you in your family this year. This, I mean, the last year and this year, unmute yourself and say something. Can you unmute yourself, Sister Nika? Nickerson, there you go. Praise the Lord. Um, <laughs> Bishop Powell put me on the spot. I wasn't prepared. <laughs> That's all right. Just, um, the Lord has given my husband and myself both uh, my business and they've been doing really well really excelled in the last six months of um last year and have been doing extremely well um in the first month of this year um and that's all i have to say about um, my business and if y'all could keep the kane family in prayer um taisha lost one of her classmates on this week, and she's also taking that very hard. But um, mm -hmm. the Lord has been keeping her this week. Amen. Praise God. Uh, you know, that's why I was telling the saints: if you want to be blessed, keep pay your tithes and offerings, give unto the Lord. I know what God can do. I was one from experience of what God has done. Brought me from Holiday Inn cooking to it retired 55, 56. By paying tithes, giving God my best, God will elevate you. I don't care if you're selling rocks, pet rocks. Y'all know pet rocks people selling? People make money on pet rocks. You can make money. God will bless you if your heart is in the right place, giving God your best and honoring him. And I thank God for Brother Dickerson. He keeps that. He goes out in church. He works. He, no matter, we never say anything about it. He don't let you know he goes in there. He's got machines in there. He, he just been a blessing 
uh, to the ministry. We thank God for him. He don't say nothing. He's very quiet. But we thank God for Brother Dixon. Thank you, Brother Tyrone, and for all that you do. You don't talk about it. You just work. And we praise God for you. And we're going to really let you go. But we thank God for all the saints. Uh, Dr. Miller, we, we're working on the system. We on, we're live now on Facebook. Uh, we, we, God is expanding our territory. Uh, thank God for what he's doing. And keep on doing. Y'all get prayer and strength in the Lord. And y'all have a blessed day and a blessed year. Stay healthy. Stay whole in Jesus' name. We're going to say, we'll see you. We're not going to say amen the next Sunday. Amen. Either y'all trying to be the last ones on or y'all don't know how to end the call. <laughs> you got, I can't hear you, Elder. Hold on, let me let me unmute you right quick. And we just have a little fun with it. That's all. Just, okay. just checking it out. Okay. That's, that's well, you know, this, this is also broadcast on uh, on Facebook Live while we are on today. This is on Facebook Live broadcasting simultaneously. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and and end the call for now. Um, but to um, to uh, Sister Slade, uh, Sister Jackson, and uh, I'm not sure who BM is, uh, maybe Sister uh, Sister Mitchell. Um, uh, but uh, anyway, we're going to say God bless, and we're going to go ahead and end this call. And to those that were watching on Facebook Live, we bid you Godspeed until we're able to meet again. God bless you.